Hi there, it's Adam here from adaminsights.com. I've just got the brand new Leica M11 digital rangefinder. There's been a lot of talk about the dynamic range capabilities of the camera. Apparently if you're shooting 60 megapixel raw, you've got up to 14 stops of dyna dynamic range. And if you drop the resolution down to 30 or 18 megapixels, you've got up to 15 stops of dynamic range. I have taken a few shots and I'm going to make all of these DNG files available on my blog. If you're watching this video, there's the link in the description for you to go ahead and download the DNG files from this camera to play around with the dynamic range capabilities yourself. I've taken a few shots around the Adelaide Central Market and the CBD area uh, to play around with under and over exposing some shots and see what its dynamic range capabilities really are like for me in the real world for the type of photos that I like to take. So this is actually an image which I've already processed but let's just start off with something fairly easy. So I can quite easily just recover my highlights in an image like that and I can bring the shadows up, maybe put a bit of contrast in there. Okay fine, so that really works as to be expected and that's nothing too special for me. I was able to do that on the M240 and the M10. Let's try something a little bit more challenging. So here's a display and I took a photo of that overexposed as well and underexposed to try all three of these images and see what the dynamic range is like. So let's jump straight into the overexposed image and that recovers really nicely that's a 60 megapixel image from the Leica M11 and again if you want to play around with it yourself you can let's have a quick look at the underexposed image and again that's recovering really well really easily uh, something a little bit more challenging so this shot here uh, nothing too special but I want to have a quick look at the details in the signage over there by the escalator if we have a look at the underexposed version of that those details are pretty much not there so let's just push the exposure up here bring the highlights and the whites down a little bit so we don't blow out the bright areas of the shot that is a really good recovery and that was very quick very easy if we want to try and hide some of this noise in the darker areas fine we can just crush uh, the blacks a little bit if that's what we want to do so that's what we've processed it to I might put a bit more shadows back in the ceiling if I just reset that that's where it came from. So the dynamic range capabilities of the M11 are really starting to impress me. Similarly, let's have a look at something a little bit more challenging. What if we wanted to turn this into a really uh, nice uh, high dynamic range shot? In fact, well, I'm not really sure there's anything nice about high, dy high dynamic range photography. I'm not really a massive fan of it myself. But anyway, let's have a look. So we'll push the shadows up push the exposure up, bring our highlights back down and whoop de doo we have suddenly got a really good high dynamic range shot and that's where it came from. So again, the Leica M11 is really impressing me. Uh, I took this shot of the dress shop in Adelaide, push pin, uh, it's a really cool building to take photos of. Also took a shot of it a bit overexposed recovers really well again the scooter overexposed very impressed by how recoverable the shadows and the highlights are in the Leica M11 one last one okay so obviously I've exposed for the interior of the shop here 
and I want to bring up the details in the display so we can really just do that with the shadows maybe push the exposure a bit bring it back a little and there we go so all in all the dynamic range capabilities of the Leica M11 have really impressed me but I guess don't just take my word for it, go ahead, download the DNG files which I've made available on my blog, the link's down there in the description. I'll be really keen to hear what you think about them. And I will stress, I've only owned the Leica M11 for about 36 hours so far, so I haven't had a great opportunity to take many shots with it, but please stay tuned because I'm uh, making more and more images available on my blog for people to download and play around with. I want to do a complete review of uh, the cameras soon, but I am taking my time with that to really uh, try and uh, put the camera through its paces and try it out for everything which I want to try it out for instead of uh, just doing a pixel peeping review. I want to do a real street photography uh, capabilities review of this camera. Okay, well, thank you for watching.